it is almost uncomfortable to watch the footage uh, that you're seeing right now and that I'm going to get into at the beginning of the uh, in the video. But there's three footages that you're going to see that is not really doing the rounds on the Internet that is going to show you the real state of the marriage between Harry and Meghan Markle, how Harry is truly over this woman, how much this woman humiliates him along with the vice president, because the vice president should have known better than to do this to a blood royal. But it's incredible. It, it really, really blows my mind that Harry is, feels so devalued, so depreciated that he tolerates that. But it shows, the footage shows that this marriage the state of this marriage, because it's actually pretty awful. The body language, the lack of interaction. Megan, Megan, who clearly does not speak Spanish. It is laughable if it weren't so tragic for Harry. I mean, that's the truth, guys. I mean, so let's get into this video, beautiful people. But before we do, Please listen to my sponsor. You, you help greatly if you listen to this and you might learn how to make $1 million. $1 million thanks to this sponsor. I am even playing it. So please watch my sponsor of today and I want to thank them. Mm -hmm. You do not need to be royal to travel to exotic locations, stay in beautiful hotels and have the chance to win up to one million dollars in cash. I want to give a shout out to my Vegas Lots, the sponsor of this amazing opportunity at the end of my video. So thank you very much, my Vegas Lots. And you wonder how, how Paula, very simple, just download for free my Vegas Lots and start playing because all summer long, my Vegas Lots is going to be sending people plus sending you possibly and a plus one to the Bahamas, to the Bahamas in October for the My VIP World Tournament of Slots by invitation only. So if you start playing right away, if you download for free My Vegas Slots and start playing right now, you might get the chance to be flown to the Bahamas and a plus one to sit at the table at the My VIP. World Tournament of Slots, which is going to be hosted by the Atlantis Paradise Island Hotel. 500 people are going to get the chance to win up to $1 million in cash. And when you download for free My Vegas Slots and start playing, you'll be joining 90 million other players, including myself. And you don't play on your own. You can join other players. And you feel like you're right in Vegas playing at the Bellagio Luxor. NY, NY, like you're playing with Shaquille O'Neal's Vegas Slots machines or Eight Wonder of the World. It is fun it is amazing and you can do this on your spare time or you can do it all day long if you want to because the more points you accumulate the more chances you get to be selected to be flown to the bahamas in a plus one in a plus one the tournament is going to be held from october 24th till the 27th and it's going to be hosted by atlantis paradise island resort beautiful luxurious hotel so the sooner you download for free this app and the sooner you start playing the more chances you will have to qualify to download the app just click on the link below or scan the qr code that i'm showing you to not miss this opportunity and once again thank you to my vegas lots for this wonderful amazing opportunity to my subscribers and for sponsoring this video it is a truly sad state of affairs when we see Harry, a blood royal who went from representing Her Majesty the Queen all over the world, I mean, talking to heads of states like kings, queens, prince and princess of the United of the entire world, how even first ladies, told, first ladies of the United States, or even former presidents Barack Obama, for one, told him he had access, direct access to this, and now. He's falling down to what? Being at the kitty table in Colombia sat all the way to the end while Meghan Markle gets place of pride as though she's the blood royal. Before I show you that, and I'm going to show you how over, over when they're not in public, how over Harry is over this woman because it is truly over 
I mean, there have been glimpses of Harry being absolutely fed up and he just doesn't want to have anything to do with this woman. I mean, sometimes even the charade, the charade gets too much for him that we see that, my God, what am I doing? Why am I talking to this woman? <laughs> As we're watching here. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty sad state of affairs when Prince Harry... You can see, I mean, there's nothing there. And I know people were saying that Meghan Markle was just smiling. This woman was sitting there seething through her fake veneers. This woman, you know, she's looking forward, but she has very good peripheral view. This woman was seething inside. She was dying inside, not because she was sad, but because she feels that how much Harry could disrespect her by actually being comfortable with another woman. You see, Meghan Markle is not. Is not it's, it really is not jealousy out of love. It's is is it's ego. She feels threatened that another woman. And what is really interesting, guys, is that this woman has no problem absolutely disrespecting other men, other women's husbands. She goes and goes in and she puts her sternum forward first. But God forbid you go near Harry. And again, not at all jealousy, but because she needs to be the center of attention and she's terrified of losing the remaining little hole she has over this man, because she knows, deep down Meghan Markle knows that the gig is up with Harry. She knows that he's fed up. She knows that he no longer, that the only thing that she has controlling this man is his own ego and arrogance, that he doesn't want to admit that he really screwed up with her. But before we're going to do that, I'm going to show you a couple other footages also to show you First, and, and show you that Megan really, guys, doesn't speak Spanish. And it's amazing that people are coming to my channel saying, oh, well, she never said she did. Yes, she did. She said repeatedly. And you know what? I would understand it if she had never said it. If she had said, you know what? Oh, I kind of, I, I learned a few phrases here and there, you know, and but I've forgotten about it. But that's not what her constant narrative has been, is that I am fluent in Spanish and French just lately. She had to admit that she did not speak a word of French because when she joined the royal family, she said that she spoke fluent French. And I remember they used to have it on the monarchy's website that she studied. Uh, she majored with international double major international relations and that she spoke French and Spanish. They've removed that since. OK, so thankfully. But um. So when they sat her next to this French uh, de delegate from the delegation that came to Buckingham Palace, she couldn't speak a word of French. So that was quietly removed. She wasn't called out. She never gets called out. And even now, after she has proven to the entire world that she was lying, because that that she said on stage that she learned Spanish 20 years ago, that is BS. She never learned Spanish 20 years ago in, in Argentina. Why not say Spain? But let me show you this footage so you can understand what I'm talking about. Because this was just one sentence that the wife of the mayor of Cali said to her. And it was a very, very easy sentence. And you can clearly see her face that she doesn't know what she's talking about. So what does she do? She laughs like a hyena. <laughs> and then she just she looks like what is she saying what is she saying <laughs> she resorts to she's not even giggling and <laughs> like that and then she goes gracias as though she's spanish from spain even her glasses is not good guys so let me show you this and i'll and i'll show it to you right now so you can hear it you see that here, the, 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 this lady is the wife from the mayor of Cali. And she simply said, your Spanish is great. It's wonderful. I congratulate you. Look at her face. She doesn't even know. She's not even paying attention. <laughs> and then she kisses that woman. All she says is gracias, gracias, because she doesn't know anything what, of what people are saying, guys. She really does not know what people are saying to her, even in the most basic way. And learning, and I know that a lot of people have come after me and said, well, at least she tries. She's made the effort. You shouldn't shame her. Of course I should. Of course I should. Because I actually shown you footage of Gwyneth Paltrow speaking fluent Spanish. 
when you speak a language fluently, guys, it means that you're able to converse, ask questions, answer questions, engage with people, not memorize a one minute, a one minute speech and then go, <laughs> oh, I'm glad that's over with. What is she, 12? What is she, 12? I mean, that's, I'm serious, guys. What is she, 12? And it was even dictated through an earphone, an earpiece, sorry, whatever you want to call it. And she got it wrong. This is how much of a D-list actress is because she got that one minute sentence wrong, wrong verbs. You can speak a language fluently and still have an accent. Gwyneth Paltrow is, is a very classical example. But the great thing is that she, for example, she speaks Spanish like from Spain and even the accent is, is very good. She has a little odd thing here and there, but you can see that she feels very comfortable engaging and actually conducting Spanish interviews in Spanish when she promotes her film. So she actually looks forward to it. You don't see her go, I'm relieved. So yes, so Meghan Markle does have a problem with lying. She is a pathological liar and she should not be applauded for the fact that she admitted on stage that she lied, that she's not fluent. And she doubled down on the lie that she learned in Argentina because clearly she didn't. OK, now I'm going to show you another footage here. I know that on Arch, well, she's put this picture and I'm not going to put it here because, you know, she she might copyright it. She grabbed Harry and kissed it. Do you guys remember in Joey with Susan Sarandon uh, in France when Susan Sarandon grabbed uh, Joey's face and, to kiss? And then and he says, why did you hug my face like that? Why did you grab my face with both hands? Is that how much passion that you feel about me? And she says, no. It's so, you know, the cameras only focus on me and I hide your face. Now I'm going to show you what really happened during that little dance routine that Meghan Markle and what Meghan Markle had to do to get that picture because this was choreographed by Meghan Markle. This is how much Harry is unaware of her game. Okay. And, um, and how much this woman gaslights this man and how much she's using this man. And, but we're going to see also how over Harry's over this woman. So here, let me show you this so you can see what really happened. And I'm going to pause it here a little bit when we do it so you can see it. So Harry here is happily dancing. You see him, he's, Harry's here dancing on his own with this other lady. And you saw kind of, Megan is over here dancing with somebody else. I think you can see her over there. She's dancing with somebody else. She spots Harry having too much of a good time dancing with this other person. And she, and she goes in, she can't let him have that. She, he's having fun and there she comes. You can see her. She's actually dancing with this young man here. And you can see her because Harry's being the center of attention. Believe it or not, it wasn't Megan the center of attention. The footage that she managed to get leaked is of her dancing. But actually, people, Harry's in the center. And he's being the center of attention around everybody. And everybody wanted to dance with him, right? Here's the vice president. And here is Meghan Markle, right? And then she goes, see? She goes and she pushes you can see the kid here. You can see the kid here is like, where are you going? She completely disregarded this young man. She just left him there and pushed that young lady that was dancing with Harry and got herself in the middle. And then she's looking at him. She's like, and Harry's going like, oh, okay. And he, they're dancing. There you go. But, and then of course, but look at that. She's dancing with that, making an ass of herself. And there she goes. She can't stand it. This woman really can't stand it. Again, not because she loves Harry, but because he was being too much the center of attention. And she needed to get a picture of people of her dancing with Harry so she can give him that fake phony kiss, you know, because that's what she did. So everything that this woman does is choreographed with a complete disregard to children. It is actually quite pathetic, guys. And I'm going to show you now what really was going on behind the scenes with Harry. Harry, I mean, this guy is so over this woman. You know, it's, it's some, uh, sometimes I feel like saying, come on, dude, you can do it. Break free. I want to break free. Clearly, clearly this song is playing over and over in Harry's head, you know, because this man, I mean, the levels of humiliation. I don't know if the vice president wanted to humiliate the real royal i don't know what happened and i have some inside news as to why they actually went to colombia guys and i'm going to show it to you in a video tomorrow because it's going to blow your mind 
why Meghan Markle utilized those families, those grieving families, because she was rejected in Colombia. She was absolutely refused in Colombia. And I, but I'll give, I'm just giving you a little bit taster of that. But it's incredible. This man has been humiliated. Megan really hates this man. And he's so over her. Let me show you here. This is a footage that was leaked from somebody who was at the dinner. At this uh, dinner that wasn't shown. Uh, you only saw a picture of Meghan Markle with that blue dress that she wore when she did that thing at Tyler Perry's uh, mansion. But this man here is talking. This is the chef, and he's talking about the rum. They got a bottle of rum, and he's telling the ingredients in Spanish. And, you know, he's saying this and that. Meghan Markle is looking around like an idiot, nodding, pretending that she knows what he's talking about. But look at this, guys. Harry is sat all the uh, all all the way to the other end he's just as irrelevant as this man sitting right next to the vice president's husband or partner who sat all the way to the end they even did it in such a way that you know are you telling me seriously telling me that the vice president could not could not get a long table so there's not this break here in the middle that forces harry to be sat on the other side like he's in a kitty table you're telling me this was done on purpose to sit him as far away from Meghan Markle because Meghan Markle is thinking of footage. Because if you look at this, there's almost a meter of space here between them, okay? Because the way they sat the table. So you only see um, Francia Marquez, you see the husband, and Meghan. You, Harry's, on, you would not... You would not think in a million years that this man is with Meghan Markle. And she's front and center. She's absolutely enjoying it. Look at his hands, too, because he's so over. There's absolutely no eye contact. Nothing. Nothing. This is brutal, guys. Look at Prince Harry. He sat there with the translator. Meghan Markle is pretending. But, of course, she just laughs when everybody laughs. She has zero clue. And I tell you, I can tell you that she has zero clue because of what the chef said at the end. I do have what he said in Spanish, you know. But I don't know if I can play it. I don't want to be, you know. But he's basically saying you can have drinks in the morning and at night. And she's just, and he's, like, being spicy about the things I say. And she's just, <laughs> when she looks, and she looks around like, oh, they're laughing. So I'm going to laugh and pretend like I know what he's saying. Harry's there with the translator. And Megan could have used a the translator there. But look at Harry. This is a translator. Look at his body language. Meghan Markle. But this is absolutely atrocious, the seating arrangements. At one point, Harry even starts eating because he's so over this. Meghan Markle is like nodding because he's addressing her. So she's just nodding because she wants to give the, 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 the impression that she understands what he's saying. She doesn't understand at all what he's saying. She couldn't even understand the, the mayor of Cali's wife when she simply said, your Spanish is wonderful. She just looked at her with a blank look, laughed nervously, and just moved away as quickly as possible and just say, gracias, because that's the safest thing to say when somebody's talking to you. Look at Prince Harry. Look, look, they are miles apart. And for Megan, it's very rude because protocol and etiquette indicates that you should always talk to the person to your right, not to the left. That's why you always you always sit you always talk to the person to the right. That's what protocol says. There's no interaction. Megan is looking around nervously, thinking, "Oh my God, are they laughing?" So I can laugh and pretend that I know what they're saying. But look at the body language here. This is so humiliating for a blood royal to be sad. To the, I mean, Harry's just as irrelevant as the guy sitting on the other end of the table. Okay, and look at that. And Megan Markle looks at him. Because everybody looks at him because, of course, the chef, you can see his hand here, is pointing at Harry. And you're going to see Meghan Markle's mask slips, okay? And you're going to see it, too, very, very shortly. So because they're talking with Harry, and she tries to humiliate him because you're going to see that he's frustrated because he, he goes, what is, the, so what? He doesn't understand the translators telling him. So they played Harry for a fool the entire thing. And this bitch here, she doesn't even understand, but she's pretending she does and being a mean girl and mocking him. Look, and then she grabs him and he doesn't even grab her back or anything like that. He's talking to his translator, right? And she's like, oh, darling, you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. I'll, I do know. Don't worry. Let the translator tell us. So he just starts eating. He's over this shit. You know, I'm out of here. You know, he just starts to eat. Meghan Markle's still pretending. You know, Harry's just eating. 
you know, and that guy's telling her and, and you can see she doesn't even understand. I mean, and he gives her the bottle. And she's just looking at the bottle like an idiot. Why did she receive that bottle? That bottle should have been gifted to Harry. If you look at this, if you look at the footage, like right now, you would never know that Harry was there because she had that done specially to have huge space between her and Harry. So it would be all about her. This is so humiliating and so embarrassing, guys. It's not even funny. So the guy is, she's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh, thank you. He does, there, this is when he said the things, as he said, he, she doesn't have any idea what he said because as she knows, she wouldn't have gotten up and done that. And she, and she does signals the food and then he goes to Harry and you're going to see her mask slips when, when, when he does that. Look at that. Look at her face. She is pissed because now Harry has invaded her space. And he has stolen the scene of her sitting down on the chair. The mask slips because the guy, of course, everybody wants to hug Harry, touch Harry, because he's the blood royal. And look at that. Even Francia Marquez is over this woman. I mean, she's talking to herself. Everybody's over her. She's not happy. Prince Harry sat all the way to the other end. You can see that. And he's talking to him. And she's still, look at her face. She's just so mean. And then he's talking to Harry. And Harry's saying, you know, just let me eat, you know, they're telling him about it and that, you know, and he goes, just let me eat, let me eat, you know, it's like over, and Meghan Markle is there pretend, look, look, look how terrible it is, there's absolutely, etiquette guys, always says that you have to talk to the person to the right, these two, they have no marriage, Harry has moved on from this woman, and the only thing keeping him, look at that, he's like, and look at his body language, it's like that, he doesn't have an open posture towards her, he's got like, like this, you know, it's like, I'm done with you, woman. You know, it's like he, his body's like protection. You know, he's done with her. This man is absolutely done with this woman. And then the guy goes. But you can see that Harry's done because when he's sitting, he has bo both arms. It's, it's almost like having this. You don't leave room for opening. Instead of leaning back, you know, like he did with the translator. You know, instead of doing that, you know, leaning and, and open or engaging, that marriage is over and done with. And Harry's done with this woman. The only thing holding him there is not even the kids, if they have any, because we have a video about that. Um, but just his ego, that he doesn't want to admit he's screwed up. But this is the state of affairs with Harry's marriage. Isn't that pathetic, guys? I mean, please leave me your comments and let me know what you think. And for, as usual, thanks for always joining.